Hey guys, today's video is going to be my two week postpartum update. I'm actually two weeks and four days postpartum. I know I said I was going to try really hard to film this when I was actually two weeks postpartum, but life is just so busy with two kids that I just didn't have time to film. I have time now, why it's actually sleeping. I'm sorry about the echo. Um, I'm moving all of my office stuff into this room so it's still really empty and there's no carpet or anything in this one which minimized the echo in the last room I was in so I'm really sorry about that but I will try and work that out eventually. So my bleeding has pretty much stopped for the most part which is great and I'm feeling about like 90% better. I'm still not feeling like 100% myself. I'm still a little bit sore, but nothing like at the beginning. I only experience a little twinge of pain every once in a while. So I think my stitches and stuff are pretty much healed up, which I'm really thankful about because stitches are the worst. I finished all of my medication as of Wednesday for my uh, uterine infection, which is awesome. Those meds really upset my stomach and I of course couldn't breastfeed while taking them so I'm so glad that those are over. My doctor is still concerned about if we got all of the infection although I am feeling so much better. She feels that my bleeding should have stopped by now but I read that it's perfectly normal to bleed up until six weeks but she wants it to be completely done with at my three week postpartum so I have three more days until I'm three weeks postpartum and if it doesn't stop bleeding by then she wants to send me for a bunch of tests like another ultrasound and maybe some blood work stuff like that just to make sure that the infection is completely gone. So because I'm done my pain meds we are back to breastfeeding as of Thursday so this is day three and things seem to be going so great. Uh, my boobs aren't even that sore which I thought I would have to deal with the like sore nipples, potentially getting blisters or cracked nipples all over again, but I didn't and I think that was from pumping. So they didn't go completely unused this whole time. It was nine days. I had to formula feed Wyatt and pump and it actually worked so well. I was able to maintain my supply completely, which I'm so happy about. I was really worried about even though I was pumping, but because I was only pumping and he was never actually nursing off of me, that my milk supply would completely, uh, if not dry up completely, it would be diminished to the point where I would have to supplement with formula anyways. But things seem to be going great and I'm so happy he went right back on the boob, which was amazing. He didn't seem to have any kind of nipple confusion, anything like that, so I'm really grateful that that has all worked out. My weight as of this morning is 144 pounds, which means I'm down 27, which I'm so happy about considering I have not been eating the healthiest. Um, and I haven't obviously been doing any exercises or anything like that. I seem to be dropping the weight really quickly, which must be contributed to nursing. So I still have 13 more to go. I was 131 before I was pregnant, but that was also at the peak of like going to the gym all the time when I was actually watching the scale go up um, from muscle gain, uh, but right before I got pregnant. So although I might get down to 131, my body is in no way in the same condition it was before. That is definitely going to take a lot more gym time to put the muscle mass back on. I feel like I didn't lose everything. Like my arms <laughs> have lost pretty much all definition, but now that I've lost a lot of my weight, I can see that like my glutes and my quads are still there a little bit and same with my calves so all those leg days definitely came in handy and now that I've lost a lot of the water weight in my legs I can definitely see some of that muscle tone coming back. Definitely not as much as it was before but it's definitely still there and I have a little bit of a base to build upon when I do get back into the gym. I guess I'm going to show you my two and a half week postpartum belly now. 
Leave me suggestions in the comments below about what to do about like all of the skin. I'm having a really hard time getting my skin to tighten up uh, after this pregnancy. My skin wasn't completely tight um, after max either, even after five, six years, but it was a lot better than it was now. So I'm wondering if just time will make it better or if I can be doing something to help that skin uh, tighten back up a little bit. So this is what my belly looks like two and a half weeks postpartum. It's gone down a lot, I feel. And this is like the skin I'm talking about. Like it's super low and like stretchy. I don't know. Like I wonder if I can get that to tighten up a little bit more. But I'm definitely getting some more waist definition and like in my hips as well. Like a lot of that weight is going. My stretch marks aren't looking too bad. It's almost like my stretch marks that I had previously have just kind of extended up a little bit. And that is all that I really have. Here you can see them a little bit better. I'm still wearing maternity pants just because my skin is so low when I put on regular pants. It just ends up looking really strange and like I have major muffin top, which is not attractive at all. Um, I'm filming Wyatt's two week update immediately after this, so I won't be able to get your comments before then, but let me know if you'd rather have my postpartum update and Wyatt's update in one video because I feel like these are going to be pretty short um, or if you would rather two shorter videos rather than one longer one. Um, leave me your suggestions down below. So that was everything for my two and a half week postpartum update I think. If you have any questions feel free to leave those in the comment section below as well and I will see you in my next video. Bye!